Here he comes. He's got it. The Fish in Canada Show. With your hosts, Ange, Reno, and Pete. Brought to you by Ontario. More to discover. Coleman, the greatest name in the great outdoors. And Prince Craft Mercury. Today's show is definitely what I call a dream fishing adventure. Not only am I fishing one of the province of Ontario's premier lakes, but I've graced with the presence of the king of bass fishing himself, Roland Martin. This is a combination that just can't go wrong. You got him, nice little baby. Oh, you got a big one. Yeah. You got a big one. No, he's not that big. <laughs> That's cool. I got a little one. Oh, he's a good I'm gonna, size. I'm going to try to throw back in there and get one. Where he's you, a little where bigger. You Huh? Whoa, nice one. Yeah, baby. I'm going to throw throw out to the middle again. Yeah, there's two behind him. Two oh, behind him, Roland. Okay, here, let me, let, me do, let me do this deal here. Right behind him, right behind let, him. Let me do this. Right down here. Now I don't see them anymore. Well, that's a big one. <laughs> Got a big fish on. Whoa, baby. Oh, Small both bass. Does it get any better, oh. Roland? That's something. <laughs> oh, he's off. He's off. That's good. Beauty. Okay. Oh. I got a little one. You got a big one. And they were following. There were two or three yeah, fish following him. Following him up. By the way, we're in beautiful Lake Tomogamy. We're targeting in on smallmouth, which is a little unusual for this part of the country. Normally, people come up to this area rolling for walleye and pike and right. lake trout and all kinds of things. But there are some fantastic. Well, I kind of pushed you into the smallmouth. Thing. Well, you I sure said, did. I said, <laughs> he said, you really wanted to fish some from lake trout, too. Oh yeah, but oh, yeah. you know, I said, oh, oh, Angelo, let's let's catch some of these beautiful smallmouth. Boy, this is paying off. <laughs> Great That's body of water. And nice thing about it too, you know, it's so accessible here in Ontario. And when you're in it, like we are now, you, you're you're thinking in terms of a pristine environment that uh, you could only access by flying in. Uh, you know, really remote outposts. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Beautiful roads. I, I love your your road system. It was all good high speed travel. Yeah. What was it five five hours north of six hours north of Toronto? Toronto. Basically, okay. you know, about five and a half to six hours north of uh, Toronto, and you're into well, some of the most pristine wilderness that you can imagine. There's one wrong. Oh, yeah, Whoa. look at that. Hey, way to go. <laughs> Angelo got enough. That's a good one. Yeah. Come on, baby. They're starting to turn on, Roland. Whoa. Oh, that's a nice, nice wow. moment. That's a nice I moment. I love it when they do that. What other fish is going to do that for you? Fantastic. That's a good one. Look at that beautiful, big three and a four pound. That's a huge fish. <laughs> it's a monster bass. And that's such a safe way to do that. It sure is. And it's good for the fish, too. I mean, sure. not only is it safe for you, but uh, you don't touch the fish. Plus, you can weigh them. You can weigh them, exactly. He's over three. Where is he? That's a good one. But see, you, you really are preserving the... Just at three mark. Okay, that's good. Just at the three mark. That's the lunker category of smallmouth. Three pounds or better is a really fine fish. Yeah, you can't, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about getting sixes and sevens and all that stuff all the time, but oh, you get, one. you got like, <laughs> little ones. How come I get all the little ones? Well, right now, right now, I don't mind that at all. Uh, I need the pliers for this baby. Uh, got one right on his head. There we go. Oh. 
Isn't that a beauty? That's a beauty. Okay. That's a beauty. They're right back where they should be. Yeah. Lake Tomogamy is world renowned as one of Ontario's best fishing lakes. The word Tomogamy originates from the Ojibwe natives and means deep water by the shore. There are approximately 1,259 islands on the lake, all of which have the potential for great smallmouth fishing. With 3,000 plus miles of shoreline, anglers have no problem finding unfished waters. This area is a fishing fanatic's dream come true in spring, summer, fall, or even winter. I don't know whether that's a boulder down there or a big tree. Oh, one just, just hit my hit me. You got him? I'm, I'm gonna keep reeling. Oh, he hit no, he hit me again. I'm yeah, just keep reeling. Hook into I'm that. Keep reeling, keep reeling. <laughs> but he's got it now. He's got it now. There you I just go. had to keep working on. He Did hit he it twice. He hit it twice. I don't know how big coming he up, is. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Now what I did, folks. He hit it the first time, and and I just didn't set the hook. I just I just kept let just kept reeling, and he hit it again, and he still didn't get it. And then finally on the third size. time, he got it. No, he's not real big. That is a good size. He's just a couple pounds, but he's a. But the neat thing was was what I did. If I jerked hard and pulled the spinner bait away from yep. the fish on the first strike, yep. I'd have never got him. Well, or so, on the second strike. Sometimes but finally happens, he loaded up. On they him. actually hit the blade sometimes, yeah. right? And that's what you're feeling like a strike and. In fact, it's not. All that's happening, the blade has stopped turning right. because the fish has hit it. But, but you saw and me reeling all of a sudden, yeah, no, that's, hit it, and it, was a, all, it felt like a bluegill. But if you jerk it real hard away yeah, from them, it pulls stuff. it away from their strike zone, and they just kind of give up on it. But just keep reeling it and be patient until they load up. And I, I kind of have the theory that to catch smallmouth, let them load up. In other words, make your cast and just start reeling. Nice long cast and just reel it along, just reel it along. And, and, and they might nick it, or you might hit a rock. But when they load up on it, let the thing load up and then really get into them. And that, you get almost all the fish that way. There's one. <laughs> oh, Whoa. look at that nice one. Yeah. Oh, baby. look at that good one. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. Look at that big old fish. <laughs> is there a fish by it? Is See, it I'll, I'm going to bring it in. Right, we'll have a look, yeah, buddy. There's a big fish there. We'll have a look. This lake is known for its, for its trophy fish. That is a huge bass. <laughs> <laughs> took that, whoa, <laughs> took that top water bait. Look how clear that water is, and how, how interesting it is watching that thing swim along. Oops. Big old bass. That was neat. Bingo. Yeah. Is that any good? That's Thank a you. good one. Well, I'm going to no. go back to top water. Top water bite is top on, buddy. Top water bite is on. Come on, come on. Back. He's hit mine. He's got mine. <laughs> He came back to you. Oh, yeah. He's, got, he's underneath the boat. Oh, son. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Yes, look baby. at that big old, big old giant smallmouth. He can't even come oh, out of the water. Oh, yeah. He's great. Oh, good one, buddy. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right. I love big old three pound smallmouth. I think you might have got me today. You know that? What's that? That's a good fish. Nah, you top you, mine. You got a couple. Yeah. Ones, I, think. I was going for quantity. You're going for quality. That's such a cool way oh, of catching them. Oh, that's nice. That's such a cool way of catching them. <laughs> Tomogamy nice smallmouth. A little over three. Beautiful thing about it. See, you can really jump. And, and I'm not touching that fish. See, right now, I'm just, I'm just working on the hook. And there's untouched by human hands. And that, that in itself is a big deal. Keeping them, keeping them free here. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Put this one back. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. Plenty more where that came from. And now, the Fishing Canada trivia question. Which fish species does not exist in Ontario's Lake Tomogamy? A, the walleye. B, the lake trout. C, the speckled trout. D, the northern pike, or E, the whitefish. Coming up, more Northern Ontario Smallies. Canada. And 
And now, the Fish in Canada Trivia Answer. Which fish species does not exist in Ontario's Lake Tomogamy? A. The walleye B. The lake trout C. The speckled trout D. The northern pike or E. The whitefish The answer is C. The speckled trout And now, back to more Ontario smallmouth fishing. That's flattening out pretty good, Ron. Yeah. I like to keep that retrieve, you know, really kind of a good solid retrieve yeah. on this thing. That's important. Try and... Uh, Wait, look at that. Oh, oh, man. Up. man, look at big fish. <laughs> big fish. <laughs> big fish. Oh, oh, look at that. Nice smallmouth. Oh, I was nice oh look, look, look at the size of him. Gigantic one. Bute, as they say. Bute. Oh, look, look at the size of that bass. Oh. Got that spinnerbait right on the he's snout. A he's a good one. Where he needs to, oh, look at the shoulders on that he's fish. A good one. Nice job, buddy. Here, a good three pounder. Uh, I guess he is a, a good three. That's a good four. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I love it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> look at that one. Ooh, that's a good four. Oh yeah. That's yeah. a four-pound smallmouth bass. That's a good one. We're catching them. Now, I've seen you catch a lot of fish in the years on TV and in person. Yeah. But I, I've got to tell I you, when excited. you get a smallmouth, there's a certain get spark I, in there. Well, I get excited <laughs> because I just don't catch as many smallmouth as I wish yeah. I could, you yeah. know, because we have a, a limited uh, yep. a limited season. Now, that that is that is such a, that's a, that fish has never been caught. No. no Look at pretty, his mouth and his body in, in comparison to the size of his body. Now, he's got molting or something yeah. down here. Isn't that cool? Yeah, he is. That Boy, that is gorgeous. But Good look stuff. Look at little bitty mouth and just a huge fish, really. Okay. There we go. All the right. spinnerbait's doing fair. I'd say the top water's doing a little better. I'd say I'd well, say so. You know, I mean that's that's the first big spinnerbait fish today though, huh? Yeah, well. I mean the rest of them yeah. been fairly small, so top water's still kicking butt. Yeah, that's a good top water yeah. pattern. Yeah. Let's get back in that hump well, see, and it's, find it again. It's not too. It's not too bad. It's, it's a little windy, but it's mainly it's cloudy, and that, yeah. that's what gives that's us the both a spinner bait and yeah. a top water yeah. bite. Otherwise, yeah. if it weren't for the cloudy weather, if it were bright and sunny, we'd probably be throwing tubes or yep. or worms. Something you know, like that. that's funny. I got you. Just mentioned something that just dawned on me. We haven't thrown a tube yet today. Well, what, what would happen if we throw a tube out there? <laughs> I'll never throw a tube when they're hitting top water. That's true. That's a good I point. mean, that's a top water is a, a, good a point. choice deal. That is really the a fun lot of fishing. Of, a lot of people make that mistake. I mean, tubes are, are usually a bait that you use for, for fairly neutral or, or non-aggressive fish. Right. But yeah, a lot of people start with that right away. First thing in the morning, throw a tube on out there, well, as opposed to trying that, that more course, of that action. You know, whatever thing. works the best. But in this case, when three and four pounders are hitting top water, oh, you got going to be any better than that. You got to go with it. <clears throat> good stuff, man. You're catching up. Ontario smallmouth are a very aggressive fish, willing to hit some of the fastest and wildest presentations. Today, Roland and I are using two of our favorites, spinnerbaits and topwater. When using spinnerbaits for smallies, try big tandem willow leaf blades and use a fast retrieve. For topwater baits, use poppers or baits that walk along the surface. Ontario smallies are one of the toughest and most acrobatic fish in the province. You know, I think it's very important to make a long, long, long cast. Now, I just love making and, long casts. And cast. the reason being? Just, I don't know. I just catch more fish on a long cast. You're making long casts. We're both making long casts. Oh, speaking of long casts, buddy. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, I had a good hit there. Did you hear that? No, he's still on. He's just swimming to God. the boat. Here he oh, is. He went around some weeds. Uh, he look, he look smacked that guy. Look at that so guy. Oh, wait a minute. You got a big one. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Son. That thing came at me 100 oh, mile an hour. Oh, he's right in the weeds. He was in the weeds. Yeah. That was a long man, cast. Man, that took my breath away. Got any more pine? Uh, I thought I might have, but hang on. I just can't. The glare is just killing me here. Can't no. See That's odd. Well, because he was down in those weeds. What happened? He was down in those weeds when the weeds broke loose. You know, it, looked, it felt like he had gotten, gotten off. Where's the boat? Yeah, there the boat it is. is. Oh. Good, good strike. Right. Now, that was just in the open water here. How did he hit? Pretty well, good. he hit me like a freight train. That's did why I was in? surprised when I went to reel up. But when he hit me, yeah. he must have been coming at me. He hit me like a freight train, though. Well, you know, the spinnerbaits are paying off a little bit. I, yeah. I really think you had a super bite going earlier this morning on the, yeah. on the, uh, on the top. That's another that three-pound fish. That's a big, giant fish. Jeez. You know? That's huge. That's a huge fish. <sighs> Woo! 
What can I say? That is that outstanding. Is I just want to. Wow. You know, a spinnerbait is not such a big deal because you can lip them. But yeah. when you got a top, top water, water baits, or any and the best part float, about it is that you can just uh, put them over the side and and off they go. Okay. Are we keeping score? I don't know. Are you, I think you're ahead. <laughs> you think I'm ahead? <laughs> you you got oh. me pretty good on the top water. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. yeah that you you was hammered great. them on top water. That action was great. I was throwing a lot of spinner baits, and you were really getting me on top. Water. I wouldn't mind going back. Remember that that one point that we saw on the okay. way in here? I wouldn't mind checking that out. Okay. Let's ease over this right over there. Yep. I'm Put the motor tune on up hot. This, tune up the bait a little Just bit. Kind of really zoom over there. One that the color selector has now given you the clue and told you oh, what color what the is. It's going to be the on. proper color for the day's light conditions. Something's happening with this rig, and I don't know what it is. Maybe perhaps you can show me how to do this. Now, sometimes the sun, you know there's atomic explosions on the sun just constantly. 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 Oh, yeah. And, and that creates electromagnetic fields that sometimes alter the aberration of the magnets that's in your reel. So oh, it's not Christ always sake. your fault because it could be a sunspot. And how do you tell? How do you know? How do you? How do you? High magnetization. How do you determine that? Because you you have a backlash. I mean, you would normally but, never have a backlash. No, but I, okay. So okay, I got you. Okay, I'm I'm with you now. I'm with you. I'm with you now. And everybody knows that. All right. Well, not everybody. You're assuming everybody does, Rowan. But you know, you can't make those assumptions. Look at that. Oh, look at the he's size right there. He's going to hit that. He's going to hit yours. He's bigger. Oh, look he's at the bigger. size of that fish. He's bigger. He's bigger. He's huge. Oh, well, then he's right, there's another one right, 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 right by you. Okay, he's got it right there. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, oh he's he's it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're working. We had big old giant smallmouth here. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> he just said, you had one bigger than this one. He dropped it right on top of him. Oh, man, that was something. Big old school of fish. And we're Literally. right on top of them, unfortunately. Oh, I'm shaking, roll it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, folks. This I, was the small one. And, I, and, and Angelo dropped down and had a great big fish break his line. That's like 20 pound <laughs> line. Set the hook too hard. Great big fish. And that's over three pounds. Look at that. Did I'm you sure see this? That's, that's the biggest one I have seen in this that's lake, I'm telling you right fish. now. Two giantly huge fish. Oh. Just giant huge fish. Oh man, man, rolling. Okay, wow. let's drift off it. Maybe we can somehow get them interested again. But wow. you know, that's typical for these northern Ontario lakes, so rolling. When you get into areas like this that have got, you know, just that first hit and you look in the water and usually the the, the, the water's teeming with them. They just oh, school up. They school th th up. There were two fish with that three pounder that yep. were maybe four or four and a half pounds. Yeah. And one of them got your spinner bait and yeah. broke it off. Yeah. With these Polaroids, I can see a lot of rocks yeah. right there. I just hitting some. Oh, baby. What you got? He's on. He's on, on, buddy. He's on. He's on. He's on. What you got? Oh, Whoa. Oh, man alive. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a big small mouth. Oh, it's a big small mouth. Look at the size of him. Yes. That's the kind of fish <laughs> in this lake. Ontario, <laughs> son. Here we come. I love it. Oh, this is quite the place. That's absolutely, a good one. Absolutely. absolutely. A typical, I don't want to say a typical fish. I don't want to mislead you, but it's a four pounder, I would say. I'm not even going to put the, the scales on that baby. That's beauty. <laughs> that's but, beauty. Uh, that's not unusual. Not unusual at all. Oh. Well, you know, <sighs> Lake Tomogany is famous for its good fish. No, I mean, we've no, heard for years no that it has a, it. a lot of three to five pound smallmouth, and now we're finding out for sure that it really does. Consistent too. I mean, oh, they're they're yeah. just. I mean, not That's a lot fantastic. of small fish. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying they catch you know two two and a half pounders, but where we've been Whoa. fishing, they've they've all been fairly uh, fairly been chunky. Big fish. Coming up, more smallmouth fishing in northern Ontario.
now getting there. Today's superb fishing took place at Ontario's Lake Tomogamy. To get there from southern Ontario, take Highway 400 north to Highway 11. Travel north on Highway 11 straight to the town of Tomogamy. From here, just follow the signs to catch in any lodge. And now, back to more Smallies of the North. You got one, buddy. No, what you got? I don't know, but it's good. It is in the bottom. Come on, buddy. Come on up. Come on up. Huh? What you got? Big one? It feels good. He's pulling. Oh, oh look at the size of that thing. Oh. <laughs> I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. You got one, too? I got one. Oh, look at mine. Oh, son. Oh, look oh, at mine. I got another big one. <laughs> son. Hey, folks. Two great big giant three or four pounds. Come here, baby. Out. Come here. This is what it's all about, folks. This is this is bass fishing Ontario style. This is what you expect up here. Now I'm telling you, this this Ontario is the deal. Whoa! Oh yes, tomogamy. Hang on, let me get my first. Good big fish. That's a giant oh, fish. Man. Hey, you're spitting up bait. Look, there's a couple more down there. Look, 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 look. Another. There's the one bigger there, than this one. one. There's one God. way bigger than this one. Wow. Look at that. I don't know. You can't. You can't get to it. Huge fish. Look at that okay. giant fish. Let yeah, me you, you. Let me hold this because I want to put okay, these two babies together. Huh? Look at the size the of that thing. I think you got the thing. This looks like a big old large boat. Huh? What'd you think? Is that any good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. Angelo, oh, you're something. Who's got, who's got the big fish? I think yours is bigger. No, I think you got me, uh, buddy. Nah. That's a, that's a nice one now. You got it? Yeah. Oh. Folks, now, that is what it's all about. That same, that one rock, we both cast to it, I and I know. thought you were by it already. Okay. Is that any good? Let's do it. Big old three-pounders. Oh. What a oh. deal. Roland, have you, seriously, have you had better yeah, smallmouth bass fishing? Not, not than here in Ontario. I mean, there are so many bass here in Ontario with the 250,000 lakes that you have and all the other resources. Man. This has got to be the you know, I might, capital of the world. I might be wrong, but it's almost like the last, I'm going to say the last decade, the smallmouth bass in this part of Canada have just been exploding. And we're what? Six hours from Toronto, it's from downtown close, Toronto. Close, close and easy. Thank you again, sir. My pleasure. And uh, I got a feeling you're going to be visiting us quite a bit in the near future with fish like that. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, Ro. The Fish in Canada Show. Brought to you by Ontario. More to discover. Pullman, the greatest name in the great outdoors. And Prince Craft Mercury. We certainly hope you enjoyed today's episode and thanks for Fish in Canada. Come on.